All right. What's up? What's up? What's up? Happy Monday. Today is Monday, March 11th. I can't believe it's March 11th already. And I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress and life and career coach for actors. And I have a very special guest today. Uh, this is uh, part of a new series that I'm doing. It's called Actor Success Stories, where I'm highlighting some of the amazing actors that I've had a chance to work with over the years. And today I have Naza Usher. Hey, Naza. Hey. Thank you for taking the time out to be here. I know you're getting ready to travel and I'm glad we were able to fit this in, but I'm really grateful for you coming on here. And you look gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why I turned into like a New Yorker when I got to tell you you look gorgeous. But um, listen, I just, I'm all like extra pumped because some of y'all have been watching. Um, hey, Kizzy. <laughs> some of y'all have been watching on Facebook. And if you're watching this on Facebook, know that I am streaming. I'm actually on Crowdcast. So if you're not watching us on Crowdcast, um, I can't respond to your comments. You know what? Hang on though. Hang on just one second. Um, because I may be able to go. Hang on one second, everybody. I'm gonna go to Facebook in another tab just to see, um, if I have some, in case I see comments, hang on Naza, hang on everybody. Because what also happens on Facebook is it's a lot, it's going live on my, my, business page and then it's going live to Hollywood bound actors. So I can't see every comment everywhere. Um, so just one second, let me pull this up. I will go to my actress, Christine Horn, Facebook page. That's where I'm going now. So if you comment there, I'll be able to see it, but hang on, it's populating. I appreciate your patience, everybody, but I'm so excited to have Naza on. Okay. Where is it though? There it is. Okay. Let me make it is muted. Awesome. Okay. Hey, Don. Okay. Got it. So I'm gonna hop back and forth. Bam. So Naza is here. I want to, again, thank you for this because I know I, it can be kind of nerve wracking to just be out here, but I really wanted to start, you know, we're in the midst of launching my inner circle and it made me really think of what are some of the success stories that I've had with some clients. Naza, you have been, we have been working together since before I moved back to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I moved back to Los Angeles in 2017 and you were one of my few people who, hey Yara, you were one of my few people who used to come to my house. <laughs> oh, good. I, she, I was there before you got Prince. Before I got my dog, yes, you were, yeah. you were there. And so I, I, I really wanted to start with you because you've been with me for a while and I've seen you grow. And what I wanted to just highlight and have you share your story with my audience, because I feel like the experience that you've had can be very relatable. So just so for those of you who don't know, Naza just finished up. I used to have a program. I don't offer it anymore. As you guys know, I'm only offering the inner circle moving forward. But she was my last participant in my self-tape boot camp, which is basically what it sounds like. <laughs> I know. Basically, it was like we taped twice a week for eight weeks. That was, I mean, it's intense. And so I want you to just share briefly before you signed up for the boot camp, where did you feel like you, we laughed about this before we came on live. How did you feel about what was going on? Like, how was your bookings? How were your self tapes? Like, where were you in the process before you okay. sought out help? So, originally, I'm from New York and I'm a theater trained actress. I went to SUNY Buffalo and I got my BA in theater. I moved to Atlanta. I was doing theater and pretty much all my shows got canceled. Every show that I got cast in, for whatever reason, did not happen. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. Let me go get an agent and let me change what I'm doing. Especially since I don't sing. So I was like, why am I trying to do theater? I don't sing. I'll never do on Broadway. Mm -hmm. So I switched it up. I started trying to do uh, film and television. Uh, when I went in live, I would get callbacks for barbershop and all and everything. But when I made a self tape, mm -mm, because I didn't know what I was doing. I was used to going in in person. So I had a really big audition coming up and my friend Kisa told me about Christine. Kisa Willis. Hey, Kisa. I was like, okay, let me go check out this girl's 
Christine. So I went with her and she was like, oh, you know, you're too theatrical. I was like, I'm too theatrical. She was like, oh, you studied theater, didn't you? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, I can tell. She was like, you need to calm this down. You need to do this. And all these things that the self-taping places hadn't been telling me. Mm. I was like, well, they've been letting me do this and no one's told me anything. So I did the first tape. I didn't book. I came in the second time and I booked my first co-star role right away. I was like, oh, she she really is the truth. So I kept that in mind. <laughs> and then I continued coaching with her for all of my auditions. Then she moved away on me and went to Los Angeles and tried to become all Hollywood. <laughs> so but, uh, but you, before we came online, I was asking, how did you feel? You were like, I thought my I thought I was good. What yeah. did you say before we came online? Before I started the self-tape boot camp, like I thought my self-tapes were pretty good. I wasn't booking, but I was like, oh, I'm good. But, you know, I'll take this as a refresher course. But when I got into the self-tape boot camp a few weeks in and I began to see my tapes, I really began to understand that I was not good and that I needed a lot of help. And I really began to see why I wasn't booking. And it was a transformative process. I learned so many things. I learned my different isms. Um, and when she says ism, she's talking about we all have those things. Some of us blink too much. Some of us got we shaking shoulders. One of mine just, is I tend to just stare at the person like I don't move my eyes. I'm like, yeah, so my mother's dying of cancer. And I'm just staring at you instead of like, you know, my mother's dying of cancer and I'm having a hard time. Like, I just stare. Talking like a human. Yeah, I don't talk like a human. <laughs> but, <laughs> little things like that, uh, Christine really began to break it down. And I really began to get it for the first time. And that that's like one of the main things that I took away from the self-take boot camp was breaking old habits. Mm. Yeah, that's I that's I mean, we all have them. You guys know those of you who have had a chance to coach with me or just watching my my videos. And by the way, if you're tuning into this and missed um, today was the first day of self tape mastery. It's a free series that I'm doing here on Facebook and Crowdcast. And we did part one. It's going live at 11 a.m. every day this week, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. So if you missed that, the replay's up and available. Just go to my page or go to Hollywood Bound Actors. You'll see it. And but that's one of the things. It's like understanding what we're doing on camera. And I can say for you, I think it's hard for us to see ourselves. We see ourselves every day. Even when we, we're taping, you're like, yeah, looks good. <laughs> and then and someone, then. Says, why, someone says, why are you doing this every time you talk? And that's, that wasn't your thing. I have another client who does a little shoulder shimmy. And it's like, I'm doing a shoulder shimmy? Like, I don't know why. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm loving hearing that. And I will say, I know I'm not, I'm a very direct coach. So I'm curious to know, and this I know I didn't prep this question for you. How, because I know your mom was a big help. She, by the way, Naz's mom is an awesome reader. And you know, what will ruin your self-tape, guys, is when you have a reader who's not good. And you know, there have been times where you had a reader and I was like, oh, don't use them no more. I don't know who that was. They don't need to read with you ever in life again. But your mom was super helpful and really good. So how was that taking critique? Because I would dare to say that for a lot of actors, just being able to absorb, okay, take my ego away from it and just, okay, how how do I receive I it and turn it around? I think you could have been harsher. It was a boot camp. I mean, please tell me straight. I thought no it was, I, was, I, I don't have to be harsh. I was oh. correct. So I I appreciated it. Like, if you had nothing to say, why am I paying you? Well, like I'm paying you for your critique to improve. Right. So I appreciated everything that you had to say, because honestly, I'm trying to get better. Um, And one thing when I was in class is they didn't give enough critique. Mm -hmm. Like they put you on tape and they said very little that actually helped you improve. Like they would just like have you watch your tape back. You know, that's not helping me improve. You were giving us direction on movement. You gave me directions on makeup. 
not character analysis, but the breaking down of the character. So what I love most were your critiques and that you were direct and that you really uh, took the time to think about what you were saying and that you had a lot to say. You could have said two things and been like, oh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, so. that's not how I roll. I thank you for that. Um, what do you think you learned about? You have two more questions, and I'm not going to hold you long because Naz is she's a jet setter, honey. She's she's traveling, honey. She has to get on the plane. <laughs> um, but what do you think you learned? I, you talked about your isms, and I'm I'm digging deeper here because a lot of people watching right now and who will watch the replay, all my replay watches who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So all of my people watching, what do you feel like you were learning about Naza, about yourself? Not just your physicality and your isms, but you got to try on a lot of different characters in our eight weeks together, right? And different, you know, tapping into emotion or not, you know, things pushing you. What do you think you learned about yourself in this process? What did I learn about myself? I guess I'm trying to think. I learned that I could do more than I thought. I spent a lot of the characters were not characters that I would necessarily play. Um, usually I'm going to play like the intern or a quirky character and they were a lot more serious than I tend to play. And I think I kind of adapted to that a lot faster than I thought. So I was proud of myself um, for the way I just took the challenge and, and rocked it out. Mm -hmm. You know, despite what may have been going on in my life at the time, um, I... I guess what I learned about myself is just how important my career is to me, that mm -hmm. I was willing to put in the work, whether I was taping at two or three in the morning, whether you know I was putting on makeup, whether I was having complications with my computer, oh, um, my whether, I, whether I was working 15 hours in the day and then coming to tape. Um, what I learned was just how important my career is to me and that I was willing to put in the work. I love that. I learned about that. I love that. I'm going to go to the comments. I know you can't see them, but I'm going to share some. Stephanie Green says, wow, I didn't think she could be more. She said harsher. I didn't think she could be more blunt, direct and harsh, not harsh, but passionate. <laughs> That's what Stephanie says to you. Uh, Veronica Dillard is checking in from Chicago. Shannon, you sending you some love. Trafina from New York is sending you some love. Um, yes, I'm very passionate, Stephanie. You know this. Hey, Jack here. Hey, Rico. So you got a lot of love happening on Facebook. I really hey, love ladies <laughs> and guys. <laughs> I really love that you said you learned what you were willing to do. And anybody who works with me and, and you, we're working together, continuing in the inner circle. And what I always tell everybody and shout out to Moya Angela, who will be, I'm sure is watching this. Shout out to Farrah Lopez, who just finished working with me not too long ago. Sheena Faust is that I don't care what your excuses are. Right. Beat your face. Put on your clothes. Do the tape. If you're going to do it. If you're not going to do it, don't do it at all. And because that's how the industry feels. Either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. And you have the right, you know, this if these were real auditions, you have the right to decline. And sometimes our life just gets so much in the way. It's like, Stephanie, we've done this before. Where it's like, you know what? I just had to decline because they were not going to see the best version of me. And I think that's what jolts a lot of people when they first work with me. I'm like, uh-uh, you put no makeup on. Where your lipstick at? What's, what, what's that? What's, <laughs> because I want to make sure you're showing up. And I just, I want to personally, publicly give you kudos, Nada, Naza, because I've seen you grow. I've seen you cut your hair. I've seen you get that face together. I mean, the clothing down to your, your, your backdrop and your lights and just all of that. Like, I've seen you put in the sweat equity. 
And I want to publicly just acknowledge you for that and spread love to you and know that it's that energy. It is that focus. It is that tenacity that is going to keep getting you where you want to go. And I know there's been a lot of no's, but there's been some yeses. Hell, you just booked something you self-submitted yourself for. Yes or yes. Shout out to yes, Stephanie. That happened to her too. The people, okay, my clients don't like to wait. So I, I do, and I, I'll, you said something else that I want to touch on. And I'm, I have two more, I have one more question for you after I want to say this. You mentioned, and this struck a chord with me, I don't usually play those roles. That some of the scenes I gave you, you said, I don't usually play those roles. And for many of us listening, male, female, whatever, we, a lot of times we're like, oh, that's my lane. I do this. But as actors, we have to be open to do more. And I know the reality, I'm using air quotes on that, of Hollywood can be, those roles will never see my inbox. So what I want to challenge you on and what I want to work with you on in our next six months in the inner circle is what can we create that doesn't necessarily, that's not necessarily your norm? What can we, what is a dream role for you? And let us figure what that is, figure out what that is and start to create something. Well, I would be the black Mindy. Well, we will work, <laughs> my point is let's work on it because it, it doesn't have to fit in a box is what I'm saying. Because yes, naturally each and every one of us has a type, has an essence that people naturally get. But sometimes we just don't get an opportunity to try on some other roles that we could still uh, kill, merc for lack of a better word. So last question I have for you. Um, well, two, I lied, two more. Imagine that you're talking to an actor friend who's feeling discouraged about their career. They may be unclear about the best way to move forward. Using, drawing from all your experiences, working together in the self-tape boot camp, thinking about what you're doing in the future, what advice or encouragement would you give that person with what you know now? The sun's going to come out tomorrow. Um, you won't always be where you are. And the only one that can stop you from succeeding is yourself. Hmm. So if you give in to your feelings of despair, the only one stopping you is you. And if you rise above your feelings of despair, the person that is helping you is you. Mm. So you make the choices. Personally, I am always going to decide to do what is in my power to succeed. And if someone is feeling discouraged, I'm going to challenge you to do what is within your power. What's within your power is to submit yourself, to lose weight, to stay in class, to market yourself. to pray <laughs> like those yeah. are things that are within your power right right you cannot choose who puts you in a film you cannot choose which agent wants to represent you you cannot choose which films you book you can choose what you write for yourself you can choose what you create so I would challenge people to be their own vehicles of success. You've heard it. There it is. Thank you for that. I, I agree 100% with everything that you said. I do. The last thing I want to ask you before we wrap, and I thank each and every one of you for sending her love, all of you who watch this replay. This is Naza Usher. You can Google her. You can check out her IMDb. She's all online. She's on Twitter. She's on Facebook. What's your Facebook handle? Just is it at Naza Usher? Naza Usher. N-A-Z-A-U-S-H-E-R. N-A-Z-A-U-S-H-E-R. Okay. <laughs> Final question for you before we wrap and before you get back to packing. You're working with me in the inner circle. And that's for those of you who are new to hearing about this, I'm streamlining the way that I'm coaching just so that I can really fully immerse myself in the with actors who are just fully focused. Because y'all know, as Stephanie in the Facebook comments that I get hella passionate and I have to guard that, actually. I have to make sure that the people I'm working with are equally passionate in their own journey. Because sometimes I've found myself, honestly, in the past couple of years, being more invested than some clients. And that's not gonna work. 
<laughs> so you're moving forward with me in that. We're going to spend the next six months together. I just want to ask you, and we haven't rehearsed this, just why did you decide to, to do it? Why are you staying with this nutty lady? Because um, I only know of one grad school for film and television, and that is in New York, and I'm not moving back there. It's too cold. Oh, say that. So if I was going to grad school, I would be shelling out some serious cheddar to become a booking magnet. So why not invest in myself with someone who I know is passionate, willing to share her knowledge, and is working? If I'm going to study with someone, I want them to be working and successful at it. And I see that in you. And I believe in staying in class. I believe in training. And since there is no grad school of film and television, I feel that this is the closest thing that I can get to it. I believe in mentorship. I believe in being a copycat. <laughs> if I see someone succeeding, Sorry. I'm going to copy them. Because I think flattery is the is the best Imitation is the best form of compliment. flattery. Right, I got you. I mean, yeah. imitation is a yeah. compliment. It's the best form of flattery. So if something's working, I'm going to try and imitate that pattern. Yeah. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just put some rims mm -hmm. on it. Just put some rims on it. Well, I some appreciate rims, some speakers, you know, <laughs> some dubs. Naza Usher, you guys keep an eye out for her. You can catch Naza Usher. Was it season one of Happen Leonard? Yeah. Season, season two, one of Happen Leonard. Episode 204. Yes. It was season two or season one? Season two. It was season two of Happen Leonard. That was the first audition coaching we had together. And you booked that, which Second. was fun. That's on your reel. Um, thank you for this. Thank you for letting me shout you out. Thank you for being a success story. I'm excited to keep working with you. For everyone watching, please send out some love on Facebook. Send her some encouragement. Follow her on the interwebs. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you actually tomorrow for the next Self Tape Mastery episode at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. And if you've watched this and you've been watching me silently, silently like silently stalking and want to connect with me, and ask some more questions, find out more. The link is uh, on Facebook and you, or you can just shoot me a DM and I'll send it to you. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Bye.